guys, Cindy Hunter here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Today I'm doing a real quick video to show you how I store my stickers. Um, the first thing I'm going to say is I am a personal journaler. Um, so I do a personal journal. Let me just show it to you. It's right here. I journal pretty much daily, okay? And when I journal, um, I tend to use a lot of stickers. Stickers and pictures and you name it. I've always got something decorating the pages. Isn't that she cute? She came from Aunt Beck. Um, so for example, here's another page. It's all ready. I just need to write. Um, more pages. And so I'm always, always, always using stickers. There's a few stickers here. I don't think I have all my pages done yet. but um, So this is one of the reasons I have as many stickers as I do. Okay. Let me start out with, these are my journaling stickers. Now I have an actual box, which I might as well show you. It's right here. This is what I use for my in my journal bag for my journaling stickers. So let's start with you. Um, here they are. These are ones that I use. This I just got, but um, these are ones that I just use in my journal. They're just tiny stickers. Um, a lot of these are some are from Wish. Um, a lot of them are from oh, what was the name of that? Pip Sticks, um, which is is a sticker club you can join and get monthly stickers on like these. I got those there. Some of them are just little pieces of a magazine that I've cut out that I'll stick in here. And again, these are all for in my personal journal. Um, like I said, 90% of these are from Wish. I love this little one. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, this is a piece of cardboard that I cut off and I just kind of liked the design on it so I threw that in here so these are again my personal journal stickers this is where the ones I'm using right now um, are housed or stored however you want to put it so that's those and yes this is a Tim Holtz distress crayon storage um, I found I like putting stickers and that kind of stuff in these better than the actual pens so that's that put that back down there Okay, so my excess, I can't put them all in that tin. So these are my journaling stickers. Um, in this pocket, I've just got all kinds of things. I don't think I can get the stuff out right here. Just all kinds of things. I need to go through this again and use up some stuff. I'll leave that out because I can use it. I'll lose those. Um, so yeah, these are just the bigger pieces that won't fit in those little pockets. Um, cafe alphabet you know stars so that's what those are if I had any in the big big pocket no nope. what I did here is I actually took three of the yellow envelopes the what is it I'll take it off because it's coming off the the big the mm, seven by nine or six by nine whatever um, envelopes and what I did is I cut one this size and then I cut a second one smaller and then a third one even smaller and then I just taped it to this and right now the tape is not working so what we're gonna do while we have it out we might as well fix it right I'm just gonna tacky glue it to this and I can always take it off if I need to no big deal Alright. Yeah, so for sticker storage, we're also fixing things as we go. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so that's there. Now, these are all just small uh, baseball card, basically, um, pages. And what I've done is I've actually sorted these out by category. So if I run out of flowers in my box, I can come in here and grab some flowers. Um, I pretty much have anything you can think of under the sun, um, from sneakers to clouds to um, band-aids to lips to you name it. Birds, more flowers, more birds, um, um, hippopotamus, unicorns, feathers. Um, you get the drift. So yeah, this is where I save these. This is my main go-to sticker 
sticker album. These are just the two pockets, the one here and the one here. And again, I put the bigger stuff in these bigger pockets. I mean, I have, this is all people. Um, this is all has anything to do with people that's in this pocket. It's coffee cups, you see behind that there's a cook pot, there's a, a cutting board, um, there's bags of groceries. So yeah, those are in there. Sumo wrestlers, um, just pins and clothes pins and um, paper clips and that kind of stuff. Fishies, all kinds of fishies. Just whatever I got from Wish um, and from, like I said, that, that sticker club. I use that a lot. And that's where I got a lot of these. And they're actually really cool. They work well in my personal journal. Flowers and things in gold and cars and dogs and kitty cats. I've got ants and chickens or birds. More art stuff. Yeah, you get the drift, right? So this is where I stick all these stickers. Giraffes, thermoses, labels. That's a picture of one of my flowers up in New York I took. I miss my, I, that's one thing I do miss about New York is my flowers. Um, I need to get my sister down here and help me out. So yeah, this is um, my sticker book. This is my personal journal sticker book. So I also have another sticker book like this, sticker notebook. Let me put this back. And this one is filled with more, I don't want to say randomness. This is all pretty much words, um, letters, numbers, all kinds of words. Yeah, so that's what this one is. All right. And I got these little packets, these little envelopes. Um, you can get them at like your staples. Uh, they have three things on the bottom. They're, they're actually quite heavy and I really like them. So I got those. This, I have no idea. This is just randomness. This is all round things. Just random round stickers. Some of these I got like um, this. This isn't a sticker, it's just a piece of paper. But I got this out of the Flow magazines. So whenever I get the Flow magazines, I'm always cutting them up and figuring out what I can use out of them and, you know, what I want to use. So that's that one. This one's all borders. And when I say borders, it's everything from stickers. Let me see. Oh, mostly stickers. Some washi. Um, anything that would, that would be a border I've got in here. And you know what? I need to start using some of this up, so... I'm going to keep this one on my desk for now. So there's that. And then this one is just stuff that either I have made or others have made and sent to me. Like this is just tape. Let me get it off here. See? little piece of tape. And how great would that look on a, you know, a page somewhere? Speaking of which, let me just throw it on here now since I got it off the thing. Um, that looks good right there. Heck, let's use the other one while we're doing this, right? Why not? Alright, there we go. Now we got the tape used. Um, so yeah, that's what this one is. This is all, you know, either labels or some types of stickers. Um, these are actually mine. I printed those out um, onto sticker labels. Same here. Um, like this. Days when I get my jelly plate out or I want to do mark making, what I'll do is I'll take just pages of these um, labels. And if you look in your thrift stores and that kind of stuff, you'll find these. Um, they're just pieces of uh, stickers, basically. And what I'll do is I'll sit down I'll start doing some mark making on them. And it really doesn't matter what they turn out like. You end up with just an interesting piece of your own art. So, that one I'm going to use. Stick it back in there. So, anyways, that's what this is. These are all little mini labels um, that I found, of course, in a thrift shop. So, you have this one little piece of something. Um, more labels. Here's more labels. I usually cut them down 
uh, so that I can use them better. But like these labels, they're just little tiny labels. What are you going to label that that's tiny? You know, I'm not going to do anything real tiny like that and write on it. So I paint on them. You know, I've wondered where these were. I think I'm going to keep these out. Um, yeah, I am going to keep these out. Oop, there's a sticker. So let's take... This one is just a small sheet protector. And I'm going to take... Where's the other ones? These out. So I'm going to take these two out and leave them on my desk because I need to start using them up. So we will do that. But yeah, this is another one of my stickers. Now, you're probably thinking, well, yeah, where's the other stickers? You know, like the big stickers that you get, um, you know, in packages. Well, I have two drawers. Um, unfortunately, these drawers also have some other things in them. Let's move my coffee. Like this one's got my birch and my little rose here. But this is where all the, like, dimensional stickers are. And... Sometimes I have a really hard time using dimensional stickers because I don't want my journals to be really extra, extra thick, right? Fall day, four pieces. Oh, I guess you just do whatever you want to with those. Okay. Um, so like these, and even in my personal journal, when I use one of these, when I try to write on the back side of that page, I have to deal with this type of a sticker. So these I'll use for like iCADs or ATCs, that kind of stuff. So that's what these are. Um, like I said, I have lots of odds and ends in here. Just stickers galore. What's in here? Ooh, look what I found. See, some of these I've been wondering where they are. I haven't been in these sticker drawers in a long time. Let's put it that way. Um, now that I'm doing ATCs for the month of June and iCADs, um, yeah, I may be doing these too. But yeah, here's more of those envelopes. There's an empty one. And they all have stickers in them. Sticker, sticker galore. So I'm actually going to leave these out as well so I can use them up. But yeah, these are, um, it's just another drawer of random stickers. Just looking to see what's down here. See, these are all just random stickers. Um, these, I had a calendar that used to tell every day of the week. So for a while I sat down every time I pulled the day off, I would pull off the day of the week. Do you know how often I use these? Not very. All right, so there's one. And then here's the second one. Now this one may have even a little bit more of the random stuff. This has got some appliques. Um, I probably should put all this stuff in one drawer. My flowers, my Prima flowers, which I haven't used yet. What else is in here? Okay, just a bunch of stickers. Yeah, just random stickers. My kid loves gnomes. So whenever I see something like that, this is from 2012. So I'll, you know, do stuff with that. Again, these are three-dimensional stickers. Yeah, three-dimensional, two-dimensional stickers um, that I have a hard time. That one's not. That one's cool. Um, that I have a hard time putting in my personal journal or in my art, my art journals because I have a hard time writing over top of them. So these, like I said, are for more standalone products projects like um, tags and ATCs and iCADs. So these are iron-on things. I don't know what I was going to do with them. Something. Um, and just odds and ends. All right. So there you go. That's how I store my stickers. Um, I used to have a ton more. I had like eight of these drawers full. And my future daughter-in-law is a teacher. So guess who sat down and gave her a great big box of stickers? <laughs> and the kids absolutely love it. So yeah, I got to do it again. I got to go through these and get rid of what I'm not going to use and that kind of thing. So I hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.